and his big secret. Aaron didn't just attack that lad because he was gay. So how did he do it? Come on, Paddy, spit it out! He did it because he is. Aaron, I mean. Is what? You're not making any sense. Are you saying that Aaron's gay? Vanny, <laughs> that's the most mentalist thing I've ever heard. He's as straight as they come. Ah, but no. <laughs> uh, Lucy Pargeter, who uh, plays Chastity Dingle, and Dominic Brunt, who plays Paddy Cook, join us now. And that's an important moment for her because uh, she has no idea. She has no idea. Paddy's kept it a secret from her um, for the whole time it's been going on. He's been dealing with it all himself. And I think when she is told, she's, she's mainly angry, really, because... Paddy's kept it from her, uh, and not the fact that he's gay, that is, that's kind of like, okay, he's gay. Well, actually, none of the characters who have found out have, like, been anything other than positive towards him about being gay. It really is him that's sort of beating himself up about this. Yeah, yeah. I think that happens in real life. We were talking to one of the directors, and he said he went for a meal, and all the family were there and friends, and, and the person that had organised it stood up and said, I brought you all here to tell you all that I'm gay, you know, and, and expected the world to fall apart. And half of them went, I know, and the other half went, Good on you. What are you having? You, you know, just yeah. didn't, yes. I mean, it doesn't happen like that all the time. Of course. No, that's and true. Not, not, no, not every doesn't. family is understanding, mm. and and he is, as you say, that, that that he's torturing himself here. And as we will see as the as the week progresses, um, he tortures himself considerably. He does, yeah. And I think if he had have been, I think that's what a lot of people have to deal with. It's the fear of the unknown. If if he. It, that's why it's so hard because if he had have told any of his family or anybody around him he'd understand that, that everyone's going to be fine with it and it is this inside turmoil that leads him to try and commit suicide mm -hmm. really because of the fear of what everyone's going to think of him and how he portrays himself as a person as this hard lad this alpha male mm -hmm. and and to be kind of disappointing himself of his expectations of being gay is is why it kind of leads to suicide i mean or doing um oh, we just see these clips now gosh Goodness me, it's <gasps> horrible God, to see, isn't stuff. it? He's just amazing. Um, well, he was, I mean, Danny Miller was here um, a few weeks back um, before we were talking about the storyline, and he was saying that although he's had some really positive feedback from people that he's met out and about, he also gets quite a lot of negative reaction about this storyline, yeah. and people sort of shouting abuse at him and saying the most awful things. Yeah, he's a young lad, um, and I think... I think a lot of, not jealousy, but when he's out in kind of places that he used to go out in, I think... You know, a lot of lads can feel threatened by a lad that's on the telly anyway, and, and anything that they can kind of throw at him to mm. kind of knock his confidence or to try and get yeah. one up over him. But interestingly, also the character is the lad's lad, yeah, isn't it? He is. So it's mm. so it's it is maybe making them feel a little bit unsure of mm. themselves. Which I think Emmerdale has done fantastically. I mean, a gay storyline isn't you know new it mm. isn't groundbreaking um but i think the fact that they've taken a lad such as Aaron, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah let's see no cliches in there no no, no. Not. hopefully not and i hope they've mm. been really true to and uh, and for, for you i mean it involved a fairly in, intensive scene uh, when, when there was a bit of a punch up <laughs> i mean he <laughs> <laughs> well, we rehearsed it very well, and we spent all day doing it, and we had a stuntman there, and we said, right, slowly, do it slowly, and we'll build it up, and then when they went action, we all just went, ah! <laughs> and I got a big fat lip out of it. Yeah, let's, uh, we've, yeah. we've got a bit of a clip here. Let's, uh, let's, have, a, let's have a quick look. I was calm until you started messing with my head. Right, well, I'm sorry, but, but, but what were you, what were you, um... Shut up. How, 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 how often did Shut you Shut up! Is, is, is that when you met him? Shut up. It's just, it's just, he it, it seems like a really nice lad. Is he your boyfriend? Shut up! Ah! Ah! Oh, wait! No! So you did actually oh. hurt yourselves? <laughs> yeah. I'll get him back. <laughs> He's in the book, my little spike. He hit the table, though. Thing. He hurt himself on the table. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he missed the, ta the yeah, table. Yeah, he just him. flew for it. You know? It's not the first time that you've injured yourself on the uh, on the program, there, is it? I'm always hurt. I'm just the clumsiest man on earth. I'm just thinking about the injection of the multivitamins. What was that one? I was supposed to pretend to inject a sheep, yeah. and he said, just don't obviously inject the sheep. So just pretend to put it and put it in its fleece. So I held the fleece like that and was talking about it, like, right in my thumb like that far, <laughs> the other way. Like, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Did you keep going? Yeah. 
<laughs> I was so new so to that isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've injected your thumb with multivitamins <laughs> and you didn't stop. <laughs> but something completely different, a zombie film festival? Yes. Oh, yeah, well, this, that's this Sunday we're doing this, <laughs> the Leeds Zombie Film Festival, the third. This is Mark Charnock. With Mark Charnock, who plays Marlon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we, yeah so we're on the third one, so anybody's... It's, a, it's like a 12-hour zombie marathon. Because we've, bo we've both just... <laughs> we've, since we've been young, we've, been, we've both realised that we've both read things like 2000 AD and the comics and sci-fi mm -hmm. films, and we just thought, well, we'd be sat in a dark room watching zombie films for 12 hours anyway, let's so let's invite people. Tell you what we'll do, um, we'll put uh, the details on our website. Thank Anyone you. who's in Leeds and link. wants to go to the zombie festival, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll let you know how to get there. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Well done. Great story. No, well done for Danny. Yeah. Sorry. Back after the break with, uh, with Lee Ryan.